What did we learn about asset quality and uh, the broader uh, financial stability at uh, China's biggest banks? Yeah, we have uh, currently a negative view on the banking sector. Uh, for the reason you just cited, uh, concerns about asset quality. Uh, we do observe the cyclical upturn of the GDP coming out of the zero COVID policy. However, we are more concerned about the longer term structural challenges. Uh, you know, where does the economy find the new sources of growth after the volatility of real estate uh, market? Uh, and going forward, uh, given the challenges of the international uh, operating environment and uh, the new sources of growth to be sought after, uh, banks will need to make a proper decision on how to deploy the deposits they collect. So we see that as a challenge, as the number one uh, concerns for asset quality, and therefore we have a negative outlook uh, on the banking sector. And of course, the uh, macro environment in China is different from the other major economies uh, in terms of monetary policy. It's mainly accommodative, so the interest rate is uh, on the lower trajectory rather than spiking up. So we have less concern about liquidity in that sense, uh, but uh, the lower interest rate does put pressure on banks' uh, profitability. So putting all those together, currently we have a negative outlook on the banking sector, uh, not because of the uh, uh, concerns about the banking sector volatility outside China, but because of the onshore structural challenges that China has to face in coming years. Right. And Nicholas, I want to talk about the financial sector broadly over in China, because one of the biggest things to have come out of the recent NPC, of course, was this major shakeup of the industry with this uh, new watchdog, etc., taking responsibilities from certain departments like the PBOC. And also as part of that, the Chinese Central Bank now going to be split from nine into some 36 regional branches what do you make of all those changes and that restructuring we've seen of the financial system over in China? We see that as a sign of the centralization of uh, efforts to prevent the systemic uh, uh, instability. So in that sense, uh, we see that as credit positive for the banking sector. Uh, in the past, uh, one of the concerns has always been the tension between the local and the central regulatory authorities in terms of uh, uh, safeguarding the financial instability. You know, as one of the examples you cited earlier about uh, village banks uh, fiasco last year. Uh, so the latest uh, reform effort uh, centralized some of the uh, regulatory authorities into one agency and streamlined the exercise of that uh, authority uh, going forward. We see that as uh, positive development for banks' uh, uh, stability overall.